Good morning, Bay City High School. I'm Isabella. And I'm Ruby. Today is Monday, <laughs> February 6th, and it's National, National Froyo Day. Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic to which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Our third blood drive is coming up on Wednesday, February 8th, and will take place outside in the donor coaches. Students that donated blood in September are eligible to donate this time. Those that donated in December are not eligible to donate until April's blood drive. Students and staff that successfully donate in February will be given a pullover provided by the blood center. Forms can be found outside of Ms. Gilbert's and Ms. Porter's doors, and forms are due by Monday, February 8th. If you have any questions regarding the blood drive or honor cords, please see Ms. Gilbert during non-instructional time. Students, prom will be held February 25th. Doors will open at 8 p.m. Get ready for an enchanted evening at the Bay City Service Center. Tickets are on sale in the library through February 10th for $20 each, but seniors get in free. If you'd like to attend prom, you need to make sure any outstanding fines, fees, or lost textbooks, lost library books, cracked screens are paid in full in order to be considered clear by the library. This also applies to any outstanding fines, fees, and dues that have an outstanding balance, things like dues for NHS or FFA and Aristocat or cheerleading balances, etc. If you know you have a balance, start paying on it. Athletes, if you have not returned any uniforms from the fall sports, those have to be turned in for you to be considered clear to attend prom. Prom shirts are on sale February 7th. You can pick up order forms and return payment to Coach Bernard in B124. Checks must be payable to BCHS. Have you ever thought about being a doctor or sports medicine physician? What about a physical therapist or firefighter? The EMT dual credit class is a great opportunity to earn certification and work in an industry that allows for you to learn fundamentals of basic healthcare while showcasing critical thinking skills and hands-on patient assessment. In the dual credit EMT class, you'll be able to learn techniques such as EKGs, medication administration, trauma, first aid, and much more. You do not have to have the TSI passed in order to take the class. Those that are interested must be classified as a senior next year. For more information, or an application, see Ms. Gilbert in room A229. Our SAT Word of the Day brought to you by Avid is rancor, meaning bitterness or hatred. He was filled with rancor after losing his job. Well, that's it for today, Black Cats. Make sure you tune in every day during your second period homeroom. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back tomorrow. Have a musical Monday. Or not. The choice is yours. This is Ruby. And I'm Isabella. And don't forget, it's, it's a, a great, great day to be a Black Cat. Cat. What's up, Black Cats? I'm here with Coach Coach Button, the coach from the swimming team. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yes, sir. Obviously, you want your students to be able to swim, but what other qualities and skills do you hope in your uh, swimmers? Well, we want them to be coachable, obviously. That's That goes with any sport. Um, want them to be good students, quality students, and we want them to show up uh, if they're if – they're, uh, Willing to be there every day, that's that's the main thing. What have you enjoyed the most about the season so far? Uh, well, I've enjoyed seeing the improvement. That's I think any coach likes to see that. You, you see what we've got at the beginning of the year, and uh, you see how far the kids have come. Yeah. Have you ever had any swimmers surprise you with their performance? Um, I, w I would say what would surprise us the most is if they didn't improve. So, so – they really have many surprises. They've all come a long way this year. I think that's uh, that would be the biggest surprise. And we haven't had we haven't had that surprise. They've all improved quite a bit. How do you think your swim team would do at the state meet? Well, we're looking for them to again to improve a little bit. It's it's tough. Uh, it's tough to improve on what we would call a second rest or a third rest. Some of them will be on their second and third rest, but um, we're hoping that. Uh, we work a little harder this week, and then we'll rest again and maybe get that extra bump a second or third time. So, so yeah, we think we're going to do a little better. What might you suggest someone to work on if they like to join your team next year? I would say, um, again, be coachable, show up. And uh, they have a summer team, summer program. That always helps. And um, uh, help your school sw do other sports. Uh, be willing to do another sport and uh, – and uh, don't don't just be locked into one sport. If you run cross country in the fall, 
when that's over, come on out to swim. If you're going to, um, let's say, do uh, a spring sport, don't just uh, hold off and do only one sport. Swim in the winter and then go to your spring sport. I, I think doing more than one thing is a good thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, thanks, Coach, Coach Button, for your time. We wish you the best in your upcoming state meet. And that's it for Max Sports Report. We'll see you back next week.